What's up guys, Gmail for life, here with an exclusive video. And this right here I have in front of you is a WWF Big Eagle. But this is not an ordinary WWF Big Eagle, this is actually a 4mm Ultra Deluxe. Or as you call, well actually 3.5, it's not really 4, but it gives a damn. This was, um, I believe, um, I've been hearing rumors, like this is either a prototype of an Ultra Deluxe, or this was ordered by AJS Bells directly from the Figures 8 factory, yeah? Don't know which is true, it don't matter, I only got one, so let's just go right into detail this thing. See how well it is, how well made it is, or not. When I first got this thing, I thought that the red from the swish here kind of rubbed off, but actually the red is actually engraved in the plate. Can't really show that well, try to give you some detail and stuff. Let's see, you can kind of tell from there a little bit, Let's see if I can make this thing focus a little more, or at least zoom in, let's see, maybe that'll help. Yeah, you can kind of tell the red is engraved in there, so that was just a factory error or something, not much, WWF logo, the um, the engraving is a lot better than an adult size. Uh, not really on par with the cast, but at least you got some better engraving in there. So I give you some better lighting. Alright. Let's focus on that real quick. It's not bad, it's not perfect. Globe is the same as the regular 2mm, so it's not the engraving there. World Wrestling Federation, well engraved as well. This. The words Sacralim and Campio are engraved. I mean, rather they're popping out a good, well, not a much, like, right there you can see. That part's popping out as well. It's not a perfectly made belt, honestly. It, there's a lot of factory issues. Or should I say a lot of plating mistakes? Let me um, show you one right over here, see so if I can find it. Uh, right here, exactly. Let me focus on this. You can easily tell that was a mistake made by the machine, this part right here, you know, ended up being broken off, right here where it should be connected completely like the rest of this stuff, this should be connected here, but you can see not all that well on the plating, some blobbiness in the paint, there's some extra black paint there, some up there, gems are pretty good, let's get to the side plate, not bad with engraving stuff, focus on this, try to make it look better, trying to also zoom in as well, so give you some better detail. I like a little bit of discoloration here, but not all that bad. WWF logo is actually very detailed. You can tell how detailed the shield is from here. Let's see, lift it up a little bit. Kind of, no, just like this. Looks better this way. WWF scratch logo as well. You know, the scratch logo actually is kind of coming out somewhat from the plugin. That's the best I could give you with stuff. I am using daylight, but there's not a lot of it, so I apologize for that. And of course, you got the property of World Wrestling Federation plate, which as you can see, again, factory error wasn't painted completely the way it's supposed to. There's some black missing from the inside, and of course, that part right there is supposed to be black. I might paint that over time, but for now, I'm going to leave it that way. I'll trade more. As you can see, again, some blobbiness with the black paint. So, it's not perfect, but it is a lot better than any adult size, in my opinion. See right there, another plenty mistake here. The way of scratch logo. And then finally the other plate. Belt just needs a cleaning. Not by much. I don't know if I'm gonna paint this logo white or leave it that way. I might paint it white if I find a good enough paint man. Sorry for the shakiness guys, I'm trying to hold the phone as steady as I can. I'm using an iPhone. As for strap, well, since supposedly this was ordered by AGS Belts and not licensed by WWE, then of course you don't get a figure's ink strap. Let me zoom out a little bit. This of course is an AGS strap, a pro grade strap, which looks, <coughs> sorry, aesthetic wise looks horrible, but you know, flexibility wise, it at least is something. We should get, get some leather with this thing. And 
And of course, there's no point looking at the backing, but it's just to show you guys the part that is pretty shocking. And yeah, this you can even tell there's screws on here, and this one's a little higher than this one, whatever. But also, at least for one thing, for once, they actually cover the back of the mail snaps. That's a shocker in itself. You know, flexibility, it, at least it works for that, honestly. At least it works for that. At least it's, it's good on flexibility wise. You know? Flexibility wise, not really that bad. You can see. Trying to snap it up and stuff. Uh, at least hold the belt the way the Rock held it when he was the corporate champion. You know? Well, not bad. Not bad, sure. Not bad at all. It's not a perfect belt. It has some issues, but. Still pretty good, you know. I believe there was only 50 of these made, so it's good to at least have one of them. Whether it's a prototype or just AGS produced, that's just dirty. I gotta clean that. Either way, I'm still pretty happy with it. At least this has a WWF logo. Not bad. Alright, let me see. So yeah, just a short video to show you guys how this looks. Spikes are a little bit too sharp, honestly. They, they don't cut through, but they still bother us much. Just give you guys a little bit more detail before I go, and that'll be about it. Oh, and um, there's my championship gold pickle. Basically, I have the undisputed title here. <laughs> I just had that out, figure out what the photo. Alright, show you guys some detail, the plane and stuff, and that'll be about it for this video. Alright, take care, guys. Later.